Hello folks and welcome back to Silver and Forest. And yep, we are following it for the back of the last episode. So what we've done now is <coughs> got our case tractor with our speed hitter. And we'll quickly get this contract on field number three by I think it's by plot twenty six done. But yeah, feel free. And yes, I also want to see how this performs in that. So yeah, last episode. Well, as of recording this, episode 10 was just as you've been dropped on Wednesday. Yeah, so, yeah, these couple of videos were going to be fun, just, yeah, uploads, now the length of the episodes. And then when I went to upload to YouTube yesterday on Tuesday, yeah, Tuesday. Uh, yeah, so one of the things, YouTube being YouTube, taking hours to render and process HD, I was like, ugh. Well, fine. Winter year, then. So this should be out on f yeah, Friday. Plan is to get a couple of videos smashed out today and tomorrow. Get ready for the weekend. Get ready for Monday, and then go from there. But yeah, so at the moment we are at 2.1 million. And what I really want to do? Turn down here. Is really well, pretty much based for the fun now. Well, I'm assuming it's gonna be fun now, I don't know yet. Is containing our excitement because obviously we bought those 6 6 meter containers. Oh, I was gonna say it's a bit difficult reversing, but could be train, I don't know. And there we go, we are speeding. So the worker can continue on that. So yeah, if we hop over here. Uh, what did I bring this over here for? I'm not sure why. But yeah, so we did actually get a 12 meter container because we do have a few 12 meter logs straggling about. Actually, no, wait a minute. What about up here? How is the tree situation? Well, actually, first of all, let's, yeah, actually, what's right here? Let's top up the sawmill here. Come over, so yeah, we'll get a couple of these hooked up. Go and chop you down. But yeah, it's just it'll be a little quick job, so yeah. Uh, you know what, okay, we'll chop you in half. One of the we won't. But yeah, uh. Sorry about that. No idea what happened there. <laughs> I was gonna, uh, uh, uh. Oh, come on. Why are you cutting? But yeah, so what I'm gonna do now is just get it all done. This ain't gonna take a few minutes, so. I think the best thing to do is a little quick time lapse of getting this all done. How much? I think it's like 86,000 litres. Go to our productions. Oh, yep, completely a digital contract. Except a tree transport contract, why not? So, 85,000 years. So, yep, I'm going to get some folks, and I'll see you all in a short moment.
there we go, that is all that done. Just, yeah, little bits had to get out of the way because we just, this was what we were testing the order. And accident, he planted a few trees or bolt through a few trees. Wait a minute, it's actually let me. Oh, wait a minute, there, there we go. I want to see what happens if I say. Ah, it just breaks the cable because he. Yeah. That stump. Could be more at the base. Obviously, you will get the subgrinder here at some point and. Whoop! A bit more wood chips, so. Pretty much any log that was less than one and a half meters gets chopped. And then we'll send that to. Uh, what's it? I buy my CM plan that we eventually put some work done onto it, so. Man, that is chugging along. Oh, yeah, also need to get a war container. So let's, actually, let's go do that today because we need to buy some stuff in that, and obviously, we've got the money for it, so. We want a water container, right? So. That be under animals, I would assume. Animals or traders. Technically, yes. Not that one. Ah, that be, be under traders. So go to the end. I'm sure, I've got a couple of tanker mods enabled. I do. There we go, that's one, the TLX 40 foot tanker trader. Do we go unrealistic? Nah, yeah, I don't think so. We'll keep it bog standard in terms of that. Let's, let's go with some agricultural tires. Yeah, that's some nice chunky tires. Uh, hazards. Danger if wet. Let's keep it centered, lift axles. Yeah, no, that'll help us return in. Yeah, a bit of vinyl, why not? All the fenders. Yes, please, we want a trailer attacher on the back. Yeah, let's go with a bit of Tiffany blue. So that'll be the chassis. Since we're doing. Yeah, silver beat. That's rims. We'll go with chrome. And there we go. So that is done. So we should be done on our contract. Except the Deadwood contract, we'll do that at some point as well. But yeah, like with the contracts, here and there we'll get it. But again, I'm not in a rush to get it done, so I'm not too concerned. Oh, in terms of exactly when we'll get it done. Hopefully the worker sets off. You move in. But yeah, so also what we need is a fertilizer spreader because we need to fertilize the grass field today. 
And you know what? I'm thinking of something different. Something different. Something I've seen a mod. Uh, where would it be to exactly? Not miscellaneous. Crop protection, that's it. Got these the case trident or the John Deere self propelled sprayer. And with the trident, oh, it's got all of these. So we've got the boom arm for the spread, liquid spreader. Yeah, I think we'll go with solid fertilizer, I think. Okay, we need the tool lifter. Yes, we need you. Yes. We're not doing um, weeds in this series, I don't think we will. Okay, game's lagging a bit, so I'm thinking the worker has not left yet. Yeah, no. I was like, no, computer says no. No, that's fine, we'll take you back. So, yeah, we got the tanker, we got the fertilizer spreader. And so, yeah, we'll need to obviously get some fertilizer, so. And well, we'll leave you here apart from now. We're off the field at least, so the farmer can do whatever work he needs to do. <coughs> I'm sorry, a bit of a frog in my throat today. And what we need to go is at the end of here. Where are you two? For as a pallet, 5,000 litres for a grand. And in order the fact that last episode we got like. Was it 47, 70 odd grand, whatever? Actually, with the lifter, is it for a wheel loader or a tailander? My saying would be a tailander, but I can be proven wrong. Please say you're liftable. No, you're not. Ah, rats. I hate when it's like that. I was like, oh no. Gotta be in a annoying area. Yeah, okay, it's done. Come on. Action, what? Now, nah, I think it's one that needs to take under. And two, we have been talking about getting a second take answer. Because suppose yeah, like, we spent like 300 grand on the. What was it? The Volvo. Yes, it's nice, don't get me wrong. But yeah, I think. Yeah, three point leakage. Folding mixing window or door. No idea. Yeah, let's go with a nice case cutter. Mizonic black rims and it's the John Deere. Gonna be sure it's configuration. Nope. So we need to get another tag under tool. So go to tag under tools. Nope. Maybe on the front of the tools. Ready to get the John Deere <coughs> big back wrench. Or well, not wrench, wrench. Only reason because I do love the big back handle from the CSE pack. However, it is such finicky. Like, like completely like mentioned in last episode, like, the, it was a pain in the rear end. Like, none whatsoever just to get things strapped on it because it just had like an infinite grabbing range. I tried to grab it, say, if I tried to grab this part here, on its own, not these, if I wanted to, but I go, no, such all that. I should know, I should know, sorry, correction. It did that, it was just with the trailer, it just kept on...
Oh. Yeah, I want to do it the proper way, so. There we go. Oh, come on. There we go. Actually, I think we could do with a weight on this as well. A good thing it having a three point um what's it? Three point hinge. You can do that. So we'll go and reverse around. Hopefully there shouldn't be too much weight, because I didn't go with anything bigger. Yeah, it seems, yeah, it seems to be coping alright. Don't think I'll push my luck with, um, what's it? Is there any particular controls? Yeah, no, the usual controls now. Nah. So, in theory, always yet, yeah, you know, we use the big bat, or the big bat winter or whatever, but this is how we should be done. Ah, unfold. But no, ain't that how it's supposed to be done? I should be fine enough, it's actually in the way. Move Trident. Oh, where are you two? There we go. I think I forgot how to, this was used in 19. I thought it just literally, you know, bonk you down. No, guess not. Doesn't hook up, does it? Now nah, I'm trying to think, like... Oh no, like, in 19, where we had a spray or that. Pushing wars. Oh yeah, the Volvo one, thanks to help. How's it supposed to grab onto it? I can't like honestly like, I'm not too sure. Wanna well, do you go from the floor? Unless it is because of the... <coughs> Would it be because of the folding mechanism? Like, it's causing the conflict or something? So yeah, you thought chains would come out. Unless it's from a particular side, but again... No idea. So yeah, bear with me a sec, folks, once I figure this out. And I'll bring the book... Uh, I'll bring folks back when we're done with this. Because, yeah, I am curious of how this is supposed to work. Oh, no! Oh, no, no, no. Really? It's one side. Oh, you know what? Fair enough. We swing, baby swing. <coughs> so, yeah, it's one particular direction. I'm guessing that makes sense, you coming from this side, like, trying to hear and that, perhaps, but... Yeah, actually, you know what, I'm going to put this on the tr Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, we're having weight issues. And... 
and we are underway to the field. It took a bit, yeah. It's one of the things, yeah, it's one of the things, just, you got to learn it, things again. Like, get accustomed to it eventually, you know what to do now, not what six to make, what not to do. Or what six not to make, should I say? Bloody hell. <laughs> Oh, it's been a long day, just, you know, just, we get one of those days where, just like, your brain doesn't incorporate with what your mouth is saying. Pretty much me today. So, in theory, it's obviously checking. Yeah, could do that. Spread those wheels, baby. And in theory, she should be able to fertilize the field like so. Well, I'm assuming this. Pretty big consumption, I would say. I don't know, we had 15,000 there, so I thought, yeah, for some reason, I thought, again, thought we had a full capacity. No, we don't. Haven't even, well, have, barely use a percentage yet. That's not worked out, so now Plan B is creating our grass field. So, okay. oh yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, this is what I did with one of the containers, yeah. <laughs> uh, again, the thing that like, thing is sort of thing, set things off off camera. I think this will be done, this will be done, this will be done. And it never works out that way. Oh yeah, bit of fun not to have off camera, but no. Where's case two? So yeah, we'll get this back. And yeah, we need to obviously create a field, so for that we need a Z plow or subsoider. What's the power of our case? Four twenty five? Four thirty five. So we could do something like that, but nope, spraders, nope, Dowd, yes, you, nope, good, possibly, yeah, I think, I'll, yeah, again, I'll have to have this, so yeah, case IH red, do you want jet black or oh no, as of Zonix? Yeah, it's sort of a kind of fadish black, so thank you very much, kind sir. But yeah, I think for now we'll keep times down to 0.5. So yeah, we got a case for our spreader. Oh, you maniac! So yeah, I was saying we got a case, yeah, a case tractor, case cultivator, case plow, case fertilizer spreader. What I would say is, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spoil it. I've got an idea of what combine harvester we would like to go down. Which ones to get, or what one to get? So yeah, I ain't the case, and it ain't the John Deere either. Cause yeah, I think. Either, yeah, I miss a lot of it. It's cases at the moment. I've always been the fan of the big red machine. Just look at that. That is absolutely lovely. Obviously, yeah, we could leave the grass field. It is, I know. It'll grow back and we'll have enough. And technically we wasted the days. Uh, oh yeah, I know. Uh, it's just one of those things. Sheep. Oh, they're fine with food. They're going to sell another few more months yet until it ends summer. So yeah, I thought about letting the food out. Oh no, they're going to run out of food. 
Nope, that's about four, three days worth of food they got left, so. We can plow this. Oh, yeah, I've got a silage also we need to pick up. Oh, yeah, that was it, the wood chips. Is the wood chips still in great demand? Perhaps just stop the tractor. Wood chips, wood chips, where you do? Wood chips, wood chips, where you do? Nice. We're all farm, so. Just above field 3, not the point by the tracks, but next one up. I saw it between halfway up towards the mine shaft. That is the rural farm, so. Again, it's a lot of work for us to do. But yeah, it's going to be worth it in the end. I'm thinking about the bigger picture, and actually, to be honest, I am really loving where it, where this series is going towards to. Yes, at some point in this episode, we will do some form of forestry, i.e., the containers. We're not do that off camera. Yeah, not too sure. But yeah, we do need to get a rapid rapid move on things because yeah it's got so many equipment so much stuff now just ain't enough days in a month you know yeah I know technically if I want to do the 1.5 give myself a few hours of messing around playing around to get everything done but where's the fun in that Because usually, some, yeah, stuff like the containers, I would have done that in between episodes. But for once, yeah, I thought, yeah, I'll, I won't do it this time. There we go. We're creating our grass fields. Because, yeah, plan is, obviously, since we've got it now, we could use this to our advantage just to... Oh no, all these trees are in the way. Yeah, I want to get all this done, but so much timber in the way. So yeah, actually you know what? Scrap that. Plan number three. First of all, for, yes, let's throw all these grass fields. Nope. Let's plow the fields. Nope. Let's remove these trees. Yes. So these are five meter trees. Yeah. Yeah, I'll cut it. Any particular long ones? No, just crappy trees. But then again, Obviously, the fields will go. I don't go too far out because remember, I do want to extend the yard from here straight across. So, as long as we keep a line to that, to the yard, that's going to be nice. But, so, plan now is we'll get our other trailer, the goose deck, but bump and pull trailer. We'll get all the scruggy bits of wood, get that loaded up, take it somewhere to be sold, I don't know, don't care, just somewhere not here. And then afterwards, yeah, can actually resume the plan, so yeah. Oh, over here. So yeah, it's one of those things where so many things got to do. Best with it was uh, rather me just waffling and saying the same things over and over and over again. Yeah. Think time for a little time lapse, get all this done, and I'll see you folks in a short while.
has happened since that time lapse because long story short went to save the game to head to work and then the game decided to crash on me so that's about four or five hours worth of recording of doing stuff and recording just pretty much gone out of the window so what I've done is roughly my best to yeah pretty much redo what we've done we've got a lot of wood chips because we sort of made the use of the great demand at the rural farms so yeah we did sell two six meter retainers for about 108 grand with the mobile sell point that had a recent update by Yoss and we sell these two retainers 101 grand So yeah, the 12 meter container was full and the 6 meter was, was very full. However, it was just full, just a little bit here and there. But now these three full 6 meter containers, these should sell well in theory. Oh, look at that, 262 grand. I've pretty much got everything what we need now to cover all of our expenses. So we've left to try and up here. If we go to our case, so yeah, we've done the second load of wood chips. That's all we need to do because we just pretty much carried away wood chip in. Log there. And you all. Boy, peace out. Boom. Look at that. 11,000 years. So, turn you off. So, yeah. We've been busy with, so we had to re redo all the plowing. We do have some stones, but these can be rolled if needed. So yeah, my thinking is if we, at some point, get this all flattened out around the edges. Get it flattened out so we can put a nice path in. But yeah, pretty much that's all the timber soil. We do have some slumps here and there. But yeah, that's pretty much this entire forest area cleared off. I will replant some trees up here because I do like absolute nice tall trees along here. And then we'll go and put our path in once we've actually completed the yard. I may get some trees imported in, perhaps. So I'm thinking. That should Let's go, let's go move the run. Actually, no. no what we can do is let's return you. So I think if we start flattening this out. So yeah, ah yeah, those pesky stumps. But yeah, so the general idea is extend this out towards the river. Perhaps have a nice dirt track that goes up. Oh, wait a minute, what's all this timber here? So I'll double check, are, are they six meter logs or are they just tell and shrug the bits. But yeah, I'm optimistic of how this yard is going to look. I think once we're done, it will look nice. We'll plant some trees. We'll get some trees. Uh, what's the word? Imported in to... Yeah, imported in.
So where were those trees? Oh, no, no, there's some rocks and that we need to obviously break in that. Uh, behind us. Alright, fair enough. So there are six meter logs, we could get a cheater. Oh, we could get a container, but... Ah, there we go. So yeah, these are six meter logs, right? Dang it. Well, I could have made a bit of extra money, but I think with these logs, what we can do, actually, instead is, in the next episode, just top up, sawmill was fine, but yeah, let's go top up some of our productions, and whatever wood is left, I actually could go to another production facility, perhaps. Okay, we're going to maybe buy another one, I'm not too sure which one we're going to get yet, perhaps a paper factory. So go again, it's landscaping. There we go, that's a lot better. So, I think, yeah, things like that is a lot of work for us to do in between now and next episode. This episode should come out on Wednesday because yeah, so sure, had a bit of a long weekend and didn't go up with any videos and have time to record. However, I did forget that actually I did have an episode that was already pre-recorded, so could release that episode over the weekend. But oopsie, my bad on that. So that will come out as I finish this on Monday, Tuesday. Tr trees or doing that work and not obviously think about yeah think about yeah think ahead that's what we need to do but I think really this yard will shape out very well but I think that is where we're going to leave it say for today's episode so yeah next time really next time is all about doing the land work what we need to prep for our new grass fields this will resume on site.
devour. But yeah, some things like this we need to work on, but I think if we actually take our time, get some stun, get them removed before do any shipping and work, and then actually it will be worth it. But yep, yeah, so that's where I'm going to leave it for you for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button, feel free to comment down below. If you want to share with them, please be on guest. If you subscribe to the channel yet, then please consider. But, before I choose to do, hope everyone else I say, go for now, to the Farm Rainbow Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon. Hello folks and welcome back to the channel, it's me Farmer Evil Extreme here and we're back at Silverun and what we're doing at the moment is getting these bits of logs that we've missed we'll send them over to the paper mill because we are going to buy the paper mill in this episode so, behave logs man why are these logs misbehave? behave? Good dogs. There we go. So yeah, we'll get these strapped on, get them loaded up. So we've got these dogs here. Don't know why I was strapped on for some reason, but oh well. So yeah, I think what we'll do is get these strapped on, get these loaded up, and then I think yeah. We take them over to the sawmill, not the sawmill, the paper mill, and I'll see you folks in a few moments. a bit more work than we actually initially planned, but I thought 
Yeah, it's cut a few tricks out. And this should be more than enough for the paper mill. Uh, where do you actually buy this? Oh, right here. So buy that for 103 grand. So that is 25,500 litres of timber skull. So now, if we go into said production. So yeah, we'll do carton roll and paper roll. So in total, that's going to use about, oh, best part, 125 litres of trees a month. So actually, actually, you know what? That will get through that quite quickly. But you know what? If that's the case, then that, that is perfectly fine. Supply more trees. Because even though our wooded areas down here are getting quite thin, well, I say quite thin, obviously, we've got our forest down here. We're still about another 12 to 18 months away. Do you have all these trees here? Dotted across by the sawmill. And also, if you wanted to, we could buy this at some point if we need to. Open ourselves to a whole lot of forestry area. So, yeah, all this over here. But the downside is, a lot of this is like hilly. And just going around, like, some of these icons sheer. Sheer hillsides, cliff sides, and. Yeah, be a bit difficult to extract them in bulk, but, but you know what, I think with that, that is going to be a very fine indeed. So we hop over to the case. But yeah, general plan is get all these stones removed here, get all these removed. Just where we've done, or where we paint over the forestry ground. I've just done that. I will plant, we'll replace it with some grass. But ideally, I want to. The path to come along here. And at some point, go across. Cut this back. Bridge over this. And then bit up a bit of a general slope and then hook around and onto there. Yeah, if you flatten this out, get this into a nice big yard area. That actually would look quite nice. Or what we can do is have the bridge over here, keep this bit open as it is for now, and then have the yard extend along here. But so yeah, pathway that goes around. Looks to here, and then all this will be just yard. That is a viable option, that is. Not too sure where we're going to go with this. But yeah, we need to get that done. Also, we need grass work to do. Actually, not. That reminds me, let's go and get our trident because we need to do some fertilizing. Because we need to put the second application of fertilizer on our soon to be grass field. Yes, we didn't have a planter or cedar thus yet. <sighs> yeah, do we buy a big one now or do we just get a normal size one? Yeah, I'm not too sure which route to go down for because in general we don't need anything big, do anything massive. But then also at the same time we will do sort of medium sized so saw fields one and two when we buy that merge those, but yeah, it's not too sure where we want to go with that.
But yeah, for, for some reason this needs free fertilizer applications. Whether it's just because it's silver run that needs it, or what, because I swear, prior to the update to obviously the innate support position farm deal, not position farm, um, the platinum DLC, yeah, we didn't need it. And this was something in notes that I didn't look at. Again, that is a possibility, but, but I swear nothing was ever mentioned or hinted. Or well, at least nothing was immediately covered about it. Or, or it's the best from my knowledge by like Miss CP or even DJ, but. Yeah, it just seems rather odd. Oh well, it is what it is, so not too worried about it. But yeah, it just seemed a bit odd. It seemed a bit odd, it seemed a bit peculiar. But yeah, see, this did not take us that long at all. If we go to Furrow's receipts. See, it's pretty much got its second application. Yeah, there are some bits we'll have its just first application, where we've just plowed it out. But yeah, I think we'll just go along around the edges, get them done. Again, we don't need tons of grass, and actually, just because I'm thinking about getting a bather, there are some good bail mods that could be utilized. <coughs> See if any of this changes up here. Nope. So that is done. But yeah, I think the whole yard extension, we'll do that in the next episode. Because then we get all of the equipment we need. Because yes, yeah, 2.3 mil we've got now, and that should yeah, pretty much cover everything we need. So now we're going to need a. Now she's just going to pick this rock. So and there is this one that I would like to try out. Nine and a half meters compared to five point five, two point four, and two meters. So where are you two? But yeah, two pots of bar, a little belt show. But, but yeah, it's the thing. I must have missed this coming out at some point because yeah, so it's not a model for like equipments and bits we need for everything for the series. And yeah, came process off full. Nice, that is what we are in need of. Because yeah, I've seen modded stone pickers. Um, like what Dagwins used on his Obeyu series before. But I think that was only a PC only mod, I'm pretty sure, at the time. But this, this will. Yeah, I don't need stupid capacities or stupid working waves, but. Just something. And the reason why I'm about to elect to pick these rocks rather than just roll them in, which we can do. Because these are only small rocks. But yes, forever <coughs> go for the effort and pick them. Oh yeah, that's it for a member to actually lower it. Now speaking of what must have bumped the controls here. Yeah, I know we'll get much rocks, but ain't in date. Any little bit of stones will help us, so yeah. We will continue to get this done. 
not sure what is the capacity of this. That is two and a half thousand years. That's going to be more than enough for what we need. Any good cedars? Yeah, we've got that. Six meters, six meters, twelve. So we could go down that route, or in planters, there is. Where is it? To. Do, 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 do. Ah, that's it. The Great Plains YP2425A. Could go down that route. That is planter and the cedar. Don't think that it does direct drilling. But at the end of the day, we do have a cultivator, so we could also cultivate fields, so. Not gonna be a major. Again, it's not gonna be an issue for us. Trader or three point hitch. I think for the time being, we'll buy this. Uh, not you. Of case, I H cutters, T tires, boom. Because yes, we can always have two if we need to. Again, it's just extra equipment for us to store. So, yep, I uh, will continue on getting these rocks picked, get the seeding done off the grass, and then I'll see you folks in the morning when we are done. Ooh. Bit of a rough patch of dirt there. Had me down for the count. I was on nine nine all the time. Shattered soul. Took control, but now I'm gone. Bye bye, bring the fire. You took something beautiful and made it something cool. That's all that I get from you. You're so delusional. Now watch me take control. So there we go, that 
that is the season done of the grass and yeah, a bit longer time than initially planned, but yeah, so we also bought the roller and what we bought was the Mandako 5x roller and it just about did the job fine, no issues whatsoever. Slight issue with the shop now where it's spawned now, but apart from that, no real issues in that. And we've completed a couple of contracts, so we'll go and complete those. That's going to be an extra 13 grand or so. So yeah, what we've done is we had the iron ore that we left by our iron furnace. We've topped that up just now, so... What we're going to do is actually going to get the rest of this. And yeah, we're going to get it all loaded up. And I think let's go ahead and sell these. go. Again, it's not going to be a ton of ore, I knew that. There we go, get that loaded up. But yeah, I do love this conveyor belt system. Last little bit, and then we'll call that it. Switch you off. So we're going from, yeah, so another 42,000 years. And the best price for iron ore is, well, at the iron furnace, or the spy or sign free container. So that is all the way down south, I think. So yeah, we'll head down there, get that sold, and then we'll have a look at the grass field. So yeah, with the grass, I think we'll, yeah, we'll go ahead and bathe it. And then whatever we get afterwards, we could make silage. Why not we make, oh, no, 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 do we all go down this way? No, no, we do not. <laughs> We do want to go down the mine shaft on the mine rails. Especially with these big tires, we'll just go over the, over the edge. But yeah, so with the silage that we've got already in the fermenter silage, we'll go and pick that up afterwards. We'll sell those, and then because that's been there for. A good day or so at least. Yeah, I think to go this way and then take the track down. And then in the next episode we'll buy the rest of the equipment we need. We'll buy maybe the fields, fields one and two. Not too worried about that as of yet. Because there's are they ready to harvest in this episode? Or in this month should I say? So yeah, we're still looking at a good few months. Yeah, into August, maybe September. Well, September into October at the latest, I think, for those crops. So, still got a bit of time in terms of our materials that we've got. We'll go ahead and sell those at the start of the next episode. In terms of the paper and cartons, rolls, they're about halfway there. And actually, the, the, the sizes aren't a thousand years, I think, I think there are something like 2800 years per roll, so... Oops. A bit dead with air for some weird reason. Oh, there's a lot of dead wood. Ah, that may be from me from when I did a tree contract here. And then obviously it counts as it wants to miss stuff. Whoopsie. But yeah, we should sell the iron. Or because, yeah, it's the material that's been provided by the map. And uh, we're just going to sell it because we don't need it. But yeah, I think, yeah, even by the time the iron furnace is starting to run, though, we'll still have enough iron ore being produced. And just keeping it topped up every so often. We 
could look about getting this second furnace, but we don't need the metal for anything. The roller coaster is still in, well, Sage 2 it is, I think it is now. Or, yeah, I think it's in Sage 2. So I'll start using those materials for the boat. The boat is still in its first stage. It's nearly done its first stage. So we should have our second boat ready for the fall. Come on. Go up barriers. Thank you. But saying that, because the boy is plot land over here. Boys plot land. Uh, do where we want to it. Make another field. But if it fills one and two, that all that is gonna be <coughs> merged into one big old chongless field. Yeah, a few options we can do with that field. I think yeah, we'll merge it into one big field. I think that's probably best. But yeah, it's a bit hazy, a bit patches of mist. I'll say it's misty rather than fog. But yeah, rain is expected around 8 a.m. And it will clear up by dinner time, so I'm not too worried about that. So yeah, we'll make about a fair bit of change for this. A short heck it's boys plot land. Fifty grand. We're already making our money back from <laughs> just from the iron or so. Not too worried about that. But it turns with baiters and that. Nope. I'm thinking. <coughs> Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, we could get the baiters and wind rotor or wind rowers. However, on boards, yeah, I think I'll give these the selectable bell capacity. Get something like that. So yeah, there we go. That's the iron or sold, and that's another comfortable two hundred and seventy grand. So yeah, we'll go and get the soilage, and then we'll go sell that, and then that's where we'll conclude the episode, I think. A nice cushy 51 grand we got. And oh, look at this, got tons and tons of wool. Hello, sheep, how are you doing? So we'll go and just sack these up. We'll get again, we'll get these cleared off in the next episode. But yeah, because obviously we're struggling to put our equipment away, so we definitely need. Another shed or two, I think. There we go, we've got six pallets of wool. So I am thinking. Where nah, we'll 
was miserable behavior. Let's go and check on, on our fabric. So we've got two pallets. Actually, I think it may work because I think we did sell our, our TV, but maybe it's just worth having something, just a little toy to chuck around. Yeah, I did regret selling that. I swear there was one that had a massive bed. No, not that one. That's what I am mistaken. What the hell was this? You want open cab fenders? Let's go buy that. Yeah, it's something, you know, a little toy that go back and forwards. Aussie just don't load up stupid. But let's just go and get the wool over. Get the wool over, get the fabric over. She's got tons of. Yeah, actually, what? We can actually go and sell this wall, actually, I think. It's one. Two. We out mind my head. Four five and six. Bear to you two sheep. Yes, I know you noisy sheep. Yeah, that'll roughly work fine. So that's on I did sell them to the wrong place, I think. I think actually the best place for wall is Yep, vintage clothes. So yeah, again, just a bit more mon money. I think. I think I'm not too worried about it. things like the timber and vast needs of money. Don't get me wrong. Perhaps once we bought all the equipment and the land we need, we could do with some extra money. Of course we will. Cause things like the horse on upgrade the horse on get either the rotna or there is a Ponzi scorpion king. Oops. Bear with me a sec. There we go. We're on our way. So, here. That's 12,400 quid. So that's 28. So that's good 29 grand. And now to get the fabric. So there we go, got the fabric, got some furniture. And as you may have noticed, we did slightly open up the land here a bit just to 
able to do some little shortcuts here and there, so we did. Well, do you think I think that should be mulch some loose you know, those trees there. But to us, it wasn't a lot, it was only three, four, five trees out of like the four or six hundred trees we've got here planted at six hundred trees. Yes, I know furniture's not accepted. There we go. So this would do need more floor tiles, metal, got plenty of. So one more wood tiles, one more beams, enough long planks and enough planks to get that completed. But yeah, again, the other things I have to do in the next episode. And we'll sell our furniture. And that's another 13 grand. So yeah. Again, little things like this, little productions, just keep the money going on. That's why I want to sort of use all the productions, just have that bit of extra income here and there. Every so often grab bits of this, grab bits of that. And then we'll be on a merry way. But yep, yeah, that is where we're going to leave it for a time. We will do our yards. Big yard expansion coming up. And what else are we going to do? Again, yeah, I think just get things shipped over to where we need to. This time we'll make sure we get the big semi trailer and use that. Rather than the 23rd bumper trailer on the TLX. As we have been doing that a few times and yeah, it's just a bit too sketchy of a job, but yeah. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button, feel free to comment down below. If you want to share with some please be my guest. If you're not subscribed yet, then please consider. But very choose to do. Hope you're having a nice day. But for now, see you for my vlog stream and I'll see you all very soon.